everyone, it's Amy, and today we are going to be getting our love Mr. Colonel Sanders today. That means I'm gonna finish the game if you didn't catch on. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Today's lunch is via timed competition cook-off. Okay, uh, the level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Demand that they will stop wasting everyone's time or set up and tell them you're on. You know what? You're on. You're on, okay? We, we, we can beat them, okay? A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Just then a huge light blast in your face, flashing the words, timer ready, okay? That's what I'm talking about, okay? Oh, okay. I stand corrected. We, are, we already knew he was gonna do that. The hard way builds solidity, a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. Okay, okay, okay. So if the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Okay. Okay. 10 seconds. 100 seconds. Free! I'm scared. How many herbs? 11. 11. 11. You might not know all the ingredients yet, but you're at least you're headed in the right direction. Thank you. Okay. Tail wagging intensifies. Ah, okay. Now you've got some basic steps going. It's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind is the most... What? Oh, uh, gratitude. Oh my God, I'm so smart. Okay, now would be a great time to harness that energy. Where does it come from? Deep in the small town, the Okay. How many spoons will a gravy is filled in the traditional Victorian? Click anything to make up time. You toss your butt, your biscuit dough in the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Um, yikes! Zip, zip, zip. Oh no! Everybody is. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by using throwing the easy way. Oh no! So sorry. What, what, how did I do that? How did you know? So how is our hand crushed? How did we do that? How did that happen? Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. I'm so sorry, Colonel. What, okay, what, what you often find is the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Oh no, everyone stop what you're doing, the battle is over. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Okay, a little show off here. We don't want that. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. Okay, Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Stop, he's my man. Oh, no, Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within it. It's a honeycomb with like, cake and cream and a flower and some blueberries probably i don't know okay put yourself be internalize the rage within you or put yourself between colonel sanders and ash now let's internalize the rage flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash as they fall off your face which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester perhaps forever Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance not to mention your crispy fried brow you run for the quad to be alone I didn't want to be like that person and be right in between them and be like, no, he's my man, you know? I try to back away, but I got, what did I get? I got my eyebrows fired off. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ash are in who love and have decided to get married. That's probably gonna happen. And he won't even ask you to carry to his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. Thank you. Failure is part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never met failure at any time before? Oh my God, are we connecting? That's exactly what I think. Well then, think again. I was always a man that you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated, okay. But I walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an op- What the? A lobster? Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. It's the spoke monster, isn't it? Borco, what you doing? It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back, and after the whole fight to the death thing, like, maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but 
I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you and I apologize. Borco, I feel bad. Monster problems, am I right? Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, Borco. Let's be friends. Come back to my hideaway. Can we discuss? A personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' homes must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Have you ever been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Okay, well, um, just a side dish I was tinkering with to try to find the right balance between flavors and texture. I'm not sure I nailed it yet, but I'm close. Should you reveal your own creation to him or just keep it a secret for you? I trust him. You decide that you're ready as you'll ever be to share your own original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Okay, before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping in, on an ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish. Magnificent. Together you chow down on creamy slaw until a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. He's crying. He's crying over this. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of a guy. Uh, if you didn't see it from his tears. So let's talk. Let's let's click the view. You guys at the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then, a ghost of the student pops up. Okay. Okay, hi, ghost. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? No. Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could tell you my name right now. It's... Can you see I'm in the middle of doing something? Student, you're literally in my way. You open the window a crack and the ghost of the student is swept out with a breeze. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't realistic. It's real. The true state bird of the great state of Texas. Kentucky. Okay, um, let's see the urn. You take a closer look at the urn. Sitting on the near pedestal, there's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the instruction. It says, here lies the ashes of all my past careers in business life. <laughs> this picture appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this is where he discovered one of the secret herbs and spices. Okay. Whoa, a door open. Wait, I'm gonna open... You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off its hanger and try it on. Oh my god! He's gonna walk by and he's gonna be like, oh my god, you look cute in it. And be like, oh my god, I love you. And then we're gonna live happy ever after. Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he has been working on and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket Aww. because I love you. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Okay, you forgot to take it off. You decide that now's the moment to make your big move. You tell him you're cold, you fess up and tell the truth. You decide now to make the big move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. A dating simulator is it that type of game? What is this then? What? Try again, why not? Okay, so I put that was cold. I actually clicked it. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I just got a little cold and thought it was might be warm. Okay, Colonel Sanders smiles and scoots closer to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Okay, okay, that was the right choice. That was the right choice. Overwhelmed, you take off his jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you a pause. You stop yourself, Colonel. Hmm. Yes, Hatkin. I honestly think it may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence! Okay. The breakfast! Woo! <gasps> Chicken and buttery biscuit. Yes! You take Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you a very important question. Or an important question, but I think it's very important. So, would you say that we're a perfect match? Yes! Yes! How presumptuous! My cuisine and your taste buds, that's it. Okay, let's click flatter him. You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pull in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. What is, why is he crying? And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. 
business partner. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Could he be talking to you? It all is happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. Miriam, what are you doing here? You will not believe what happened to me at school. I went on a date. Okay. Miriam went on a date. Congratulations. I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful, I'm not the kind of girl, okay? Yes, Miriam, respect! Okay, but he got so interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me, I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know a little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. And I'm not really sure where we stand. Just ask me. Just ask. If you don't give Miriam time to tell her so whole story, however, bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. I spent the night with him, but not sexually. Not sexual. But... We did share coleslaw, and he very much enjoyed it. He almost cried. Nothing happened, but the emotional collection is like, oh, wowers. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. When you arrive at school, you encounter your... No. Stop picking up Pop. Pop has no idea what you're doing to him. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. No, please, no. I'll try to help. I'll literally try to help, but you're literally asking for it, okay? You can get your swirly dipped too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person in the school. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Catkin, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure it'll be back in finding form for it by this evening. Are you crazy about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so bad. Shut up. I'm broken. My hand is broken. Okay, so I need Colonel Sanders to help me, not you, so please back away into the trash can and never show up again. Thank you. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? No, no. We had that intimate moment. I almost made you cry. I think I did make you cry. I wore your jacket. Nobody has worn your jacket before except you, and now you want to compliment her? Excuse you? Maybe you could tell me more about your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in this gunny. No! Stop! Stop trying to take my mans. Stop trying to take my mans. You open a page covered with arcan warnings. Cast only in case of an extreme emergency. It says around the edge of the page. I could use a spell here and say it will erase anyone. I choose from all my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me to focus on the upcoming finals. No! Don't do that. Don't do that. Cast the forbidding spell. Don't do it at all, after all. Don't do it, we need to confess our love. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class, yes. Miriam's love love drama spills over the class. What is going on? Okay, I told you to save it after class. What is going on, are they breaking up? Are they breaking up? No amount of seasoning is gonna make me wanna eat that clank. Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet. It's not entirely clear where it came from. Hey, Miriam, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so mad I could smash that tiny little mug, spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. Um, Miriam, calm down. That's kind of excessive. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? Me and you, we're gonna cruise through the final test and hit the carpool day to Success City. Come on, Miriam, stop crying. She brightens up. She hesitates to impress the feeling all the way. You're not going to saddle on Colonel Sanders' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe, sort of, but um, I'm sure there's a pony uh, out there with your name on it because I need to get my mans and you just broke up with a machine. So, I'm sorry, okay? I'm very sorry, but I still need my mans, so you understand it. Okay, we missed lunch, but that's okay, okay? As you plan, you begin to run through the quick test of a recipe you've been working on, Hadkin's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish come second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven, but as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Hadkin, what are you doing here? There's still time before the exam. You decide it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick when the oven timer goes off behind you. Ignore it, there is no sand at all. Nope, because uh, it's, it will still cook. Okay, okay, you got me. 
I'm doing a little more, bit more of the visualizing, okay? I know, my nose can smell the pot pie from 400 yards. Okay, we don't like a bragger, but I like you, so I guess I like braggers. Okay, that's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. Oh, the moment of truth. Wow! It's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved the country cooking, and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules except to cook it with everything you've got. You step up for the cook-off of the lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese plus pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that will put you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ash are preparing a wildly elaborate dishes per their usually over the top self, which nobody wants. Miriam has a giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big going small. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Well, this is getting serious. Chris Sanders bats his chicken as it levitates with the air. Egg wash. What? Art wash? Best friend's best. <laughs> Faster blast. Okay. Let's rock and roid. Shallow personality spatula. Wow, fits you perfectly. Even Clank gets in on it. Five dial pressure pro chicken cooking technique. Okay. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? <gasps> It's the singularity, as was foretold. What? We mustn't let that happen, or the appliance's uprising will take us all. Self-destroy. Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out into the back door in the, of the arena. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ash has her cell book out. You got a book of your own, and you're desperate to try not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight with magic magic, even if it's almost certain evil? No. Do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders seems that you've chosen to win on your own terms and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. <laughs> I believe in you, Hapkin. I love you, Colonel Sanders. I mean, thank you, Colonel Sanders. Okay, Miriam knows this too. And I've always believed in you, Hapkin, since we were little kids because I'm your best friend forever. Time to food, short time. I'm actually already done, so I thought it helped you. Oh, thank you. Okay, oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your board and noodles. It's the secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredients was made up. And where in the world does she get out of new from? The boiling pot explodes, setting Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into the dark clouds that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve the Spork Monster. I thought you were Barco. What? Steve, what happened to Barco? You're not here to battle me, are you? Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how to, you can ever win. You summon extra... No! Summit extra power from deep down within yourself! I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. Your heart is pure. Your hands are setting. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Hatton. You are the chosen one. You will avenge me. We don't even know your name. Okay, whatever. The power you've been summoning immediately phased back out. You interrupted my inspirating monologue. Sorry, get away. My heart is pure, my hands are steady, my taste buds have been preparing in their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. I'm here to help. Yes! All you managed is to make mac and cheese and time is almost up. You're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. I follow my heart. What? A guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects. And that surprised the individual effort. Are you suggesting? If we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Yes, time's up. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles and savory soup that's so small a plus really do i taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours miriam is overjoyed she gives you a big hug a huge hug actually thank you hadkin for helping me believe in myself of course miriam you're my best friend forever van van you're up now describe your dish i made uni over smooth egg custard in an axe hue urchin shell topped with caviar bit much don't you think that's exactly what i did a bit much is kind of my brand doesn't it look cool finally the sprinkles goes all in tongue first but he can't get past all the needles he reels back with his tongue and is poked and prodded 
Youch, my tongue. Oh, he has an allergic reaction. Oh no, I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. Disqualified, oh no. Ascending turn events, who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles can make it difficult to eat? Okay, dejected, the invent does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour, okay, stop. I made orange blossom Turkish delights in light rose water syrup topped with a French meringue and connected by sugar glass. Okay, however, I like to ask you, okay, so you can't even eat it. It's very fragile and meant to display peace. Okay, it's just, don't eat the food at a cooking school. Got toast in your ears or something. Hadkin, I told you it's a display piece. Ash, I must say it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, Ash, you're disqualified. I suppose you can smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. Not just you are disqualified. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye bye. Get away. You wouldn't know a high end cuisine if it cooked you. Get away. Get away. We don't want you here. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up. Two chefs. What begins as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has begun something else. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, he examined it closely, sifting and eyeing the bowl. Uh oh uh, no, uh oh. I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I had seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passed the class. You passed, you passed, you, and you passed, and you get a pass. Now the school year is, not the school year is complete, and everyone has graduated. The students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. <gasps> DJ Dog in the house. I, 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 uh, you know that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Okay, no ghost allowed at the graduation. It's clearly written in school bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you finally to notice me. Oh, amusing. And now that everyone is together, it's a spork monster. He has totally mellowed out. Everyone, the spork monster is no more. From here on out, I prefer that everyone refers to me by my new name, Party Monster. Okay, a crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to compete to the final exam and accept your diploma, so we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, that makes sense. He, he's the, okay, he's the dean's kid. He's the dean's kid. Okay, that makes sense. And we get a new wing in the school, not to mention the honor or educating the son of the chancers of such and such. Wow, great name. I am Clank, and I'm not from this earth. I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. Nice, what? I actually feel like I knew it the whole time. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? <gasps> I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I have just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote myself to figuring out who you are, Clink. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass you in that regard. I understand, kind, kind of. Humans are weird. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. How do classmates? Oh my God, Colonel Sanders, you look so casual. Okay. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. Oh my god, oh, okay. I didn't get to be, I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. Okay, um, what? The end. Is that it? Nope, it's not the end. Okay, as everyone feeds their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Hadkin, what are you doing sitting alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me for dan to dance. I was wondering, might you tell me, what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, I don't know, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It's truly my lucky day. <laughs> would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretched out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Hadkin. Yes, how sweet, we'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something that I'll need to do by myself. What? 
but who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be? You found a love connection, but failed to earn C Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef. Can you live with only half of him? Will you ever, no, no! Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll as a pastry chef. Oh my dear Hadkin, I'm sure you'll find a place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by my, your side. The end. We didn't even tell him we love him. This is how I'm gonna say it, okay? We are in a relationship, right? We sh I share him with his business, right? And then I start understanding him more and he starts understanding me more. And then he starts to love me and he's like, oh, you understand me as a chef. You respect me. And I'll be like, yes, I respect you. And then I tell him I love him. And then he tells me he loves me. And then we live happily ever after in the world of KFC. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.